OK, simple circuit using a 9 volt battery and tin foil with a LED and a resistor. First thing you need to do with your tin foil is jam it into the into the terminal on the battery. Positive, me positive terminal. And the only reason we need the tape is to keep it in place because it'll just fall out. Positive into the positive, and that's the negative. With the tape to stop it falling out. And to stop them from touching because then it'll just short circuit. Now, I when I'm working, I always have me positive on my left and me negative on my right. And the way I always remember this, because sometimes the terminals get covered up by the tape, I always have me positive leg longer than my negative leg. Same on the LED, your positive leg will always be longer than your negative leg. Now all we need to do is connect the resistor to the LED. You don't even need solder, just wrap it around. Um, your resistor, it doesn't matter which way around the resistor goes, it'll work either way. So all you need to do is just wrap your tin foil around the long positive LED leg from the positive side of the battery. And then your negative to the negative. Now you can see there, simple circuit, when it's when it's connected, your LED will light. Simple as that. It's really simple. Now if you get a long LED strip light, you can make it a, a home like a homemade makeshift torch out of it as well. Now this is it. I'm going to add this to it, it's called a limit switch. Now, we're going to use, you can set this in two positions, normal open and normal closed. Your positive wire will always go to your comms. If you're having it normal open, which means when it's open the circuit's broke, you'll put it on your normal open, which is your middle one. If you're having it normal closed, which is how we're going to have it, when it's closed, the circuit's broke, so when it's open the circuit's completed. So that's a basic limit switch. Now this is the circuit with the limit switch added. Now we've got the limit switch set to the normal close position, which means when it's closed, it breaks the circuit. It's just a circuit breaker. And you can use these things for things like your wardrobe door. Now, if you've got this in your wardrobe, you've got a strip of these LEDs, or like a long LED strip, like the strip lights. You can have this position, so when your wardrobe door's shut, it breaks the circuit. And then when you open your wardrobe, you have light in your wardrobe. That's what I've got in my wardrobe and it's a really good idea. So that's a simple circuit using tin foil. You don't even need electric wires. You just need an LED resistor and a 9 volt battery. And if you want to add your limit switch, cheap. You can get these limit switches for 50 pence off, off eBay. And you can get the LEDs and the resistors. You can get like 50 of each for, for, for 3 or 4 pounds. So cheap circuit and you can add other components i'll make some other videos with other components added thanks for watching